Hello, welcome. Today's video will be about filming in public and basically overcoming your fear of being shy and filming in public. So we're gonna go film in public. Let's go. There's something about the way you make me So I get it. Being in front of the camera does not come naturally. It's in fact, it's quite unnatural to have a camera pointing to your face and a big fluffy thing on top. Even as I was walking down, carrying my camera, not even filming, the amount of people that actually stared and looked at me and were like, what is she doing with that camera? It's uncanny. But you know what? It's natural. People are naturally intrigued. And I guess the thought of standing here pretending you're talking to someone while I am talking to you guys, but pretending I'm talking to an actual person when I'm actually talking to the camera, not only does it sound weird, it actually looks really weird as well. Even when I'm recording food video for you guys, I have this massive LED light shining at me while I eat and on the other side of the camera there's actually people watching, listening, looking at me the whole time and you know sometimes when you look through editing clips and stuff you can see me just awkwardly smile and look up. <laughs> at the start it is nerve wracking especially if you don't like attention the amount of people that stare at you when you are filming in public is a lot. So I always get asked the question, how do you film in public? How do you speak in public without being afraid? Yes, it is a little bit nerve-wracking at the start, but basically at this day and age, everybody knows that when you're holding a camera out in front of you, you are filming. Whether it's for YouTube, or it's for a film, whether it's for a documentary, whatever you're doing, you're filming. I don't want to make you feel at the start it is quite scary but you do overcome it and obviously like anything else the more you do it the more you become better at it but you know what it turns out you're just as vulnerable as everyone else out there a lot of people are really awkward in front of the camera a lot of people are camera shy but today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my top tips on how to overcome camera shyness while you're filming in public let's go Here we are, we're actually at Darling Harbour. You know, even as you're filming, there's a lot of people taking photos and doing selfies at Darling Harbour. So, you know, if that's accepted in modern day, why is it filming yourself? You know, it's pretty much the same thing. Number one, practice and film alone. Some things need to be done with trial and error and in the comfort of your own home by yourself I find that it's a lot easier to actually practice filming and talking in front of the camera compared to speaking to someone that you know. When you're comfortable by yourself you can actually be more sincere in what you say in front of the camera. Just practice taking the camera out, talk to it, talk about your day, talk about work, talk about anything and everything. Once you have the camera out in front of your face, just speak to it. If you do this on a daily, I promise you that if this was a fear of yours, it will definitely no longer be a fear because you're so used to it and you're exposed to it so many times that it will just come naturally. As I switched the camera off, I actually bumped into um, other vloggers around and also I spoke to a lovely couple from India. They asked if I was a vlogger and what I'm doing. Um, basically, I just wanted to get the point across that, you know, people come up to you, they talk to you, they don't think you're weird. They're basically, they're genuinely intrigued as to what you're actually doing. And it sparks conversation, which I find to be quite interesting because you get to meet so many interesting people around okay so the amount of people that actually asked what my channel is and what I film I wish I really bought my cards with me oh, 
Number two, prepare your content. If you don't know what you're talking about, you're going to be saying a lot of annoying words like um and ah, which is not great and can actually reduce your confidence. So make sure you do know what you're talking about. Make sure you have a rough idea before you actually go in and film. Now, whether you write a script or not, that's up to you. You could actually follow the script, but I find it a whole lot easier if you just write dot points. That way you can sort of have a general idea of what you want to talk about and then just say it. <laughs> Number three, warm up and get into the right state of mind. When you're about to vlog, just take the camera out and practice as if you're already ready to vlog. And whether you use it or not, you can delete it later. But that way, at least you've actually warmed up your voice and you have <laughs> That way, at least you've warmed up your voice and you're at EP confidence. Just relax and get into the right state of mind. You don't want to come off as too serious or too nervous. When I've had a challenging day and I don't feel my best, I don't feel simple. It will definitely come through in the video. If that's not the vibe you're going for for your audience, don't do it. When you're feeling relaxed and you're having fun, you'll come off as far more confident on camera. There's actually no toilet paper behind me. And finally, people don't care. When they come up to you and when they stare at you, they're actually genuinely interested in what you're doing. The amount of people that have come up to me and asked, is this for YouTube? Is this for film? What are you doing? Like, let us know. And, you know, I have these little business cards that I actually carry around and I give them a card. It basically saves my YouTube channel. Hey, this is what I do, check me out. And it's a win-win situation, you know. You get more viewers, get more subscribers, get more people genuinely interested in your content. Okay, and last, last thing, be yourself, but be the best version of yourself because that's what the internet wants to see. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. That was a nice little lap that we did around. Um, basically, keep in mind, practice, practice, practice. It does not come naturally to some people, but you will overcome it and you will get over it and you will naturally get better at it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe. You guys know the drill and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.